All right, shooting a little video. More on this front end. If you can see here, this is conduit. All right. So I had the grill off. I traced it. I bent the conduit to match the grill. And then I figured out where the old bumper mounted, which is way down here. And that, that determined my height. I did another matching conduit. Exactly the same. This is the side cover from a generator. These are just some scrap pieces I had, probably from the same generator. I purchased one sheet of steel. That's this here, which I was able to get the two sides out of. And this, my little attempt at a knack duck Never did finish it. You can see some of the tubing bracing down in there. It's all conduit. Uh, this end bolt failed, so I put on a little patch. I put the original plastic back underneath. That's how I made that air dam. So this was a front end accident. My brake line burst. I was on a causeway. So there was K barrier. No place to go. I hit the back of the guy in front of me. His bumper hit right here in a headlight socket. Smashed all this back. And I hit the K barrier over here, which pushed the bumper back. Bent this all up. Pushed the bumper right into the tire. Car spun out right on the highway. Ended up backwards. Had to get towed home. And I was going to put a new front end on it. But I live here in Florida. I would have had to get the AC disconnected and reconnect it. That would have been $1,000 easy here in Florida. And you have to have air conditioning. So I was able to pull this out, save the radiator and the air conditioner, which all still works. I had to cut this fender, because if you know, uh, if it wasn't for the AC, I would have put a whole new front end on it. Could have got a front end for 500 bucks. But because of the AC, I said, well, let me just try and save this. So I ended up cutting this fender off. Because it has an inner fender well and an outer fender well, I had to separate the two. Beat all this back straight, weld it all back together, put all the Frankenstein stitches on it. This was smashed in, so I did the same thing here. I cut this off, pulled the understructure out, banged this back into shape with a hammer, re-welded it all back on. See, this whole headlight socket was smashed. This is real thin aluminum, all pop riveted together. This is a little thicker gauge aluminum. Had to pull the headlight socket out, which is, it broke. This chrome trim recently broke. You can see these were all smashed. So. And then this part of the grill was okay. This part of the grill was all busted. So I had to rebuild a lot of that. This fender, same deal. It was all crinkled. So I just cut it out, straightened it out. Rebuilt it. I have videos of it on YouTube. And uh, this yellow faux finish, this was the whole reason I went this direction. I wanted that yellow door, my business on it. <laughs> and then I love this green color, this tailgate. I plan on cutting this whole back skin off and doing this in aluminum. So there's more of the faux finish. Look at that faux finish bird poop. Oh no, wait, that's actual bird poop. But yeah, I got the the back lowered. I didn't do the drop spindles yet. That video is coming soon. I'll put that on YouTube. These are my cop tires. These are uh, what came on the police SUVs, and I just white lettered the tires. But. Kind of hard to tell, but these are some really beefy tires. A ton of traction. So, and then I did this hood scoop. Got a pretty good video on that. I put the actual functioning cowl flaps on. This truck, of course, is a V8 with a stick shift. But, let's see. I think I want to adjust it so they open a little bit further. And a little bit sooner because this is like driving. And 
it really doesn't open very much. And this is pretty much where it runs on a highway. So it's not open at all. So I think I can adjust the sensitivity of it. Make it open a lot sooner. But it's a good truck. Runs great. That's how we did the front end. I had to cut these out just to reach the bolts in here. And which helped too because I had to get a wrench down in here. I had to drill out that plastic. If you can see all that. And this is the bracket you can see that goes straight back and bolts to the frame. And then there's some brackets up in here. There's brackets back in here. So this whole thing's on there pretty good. It's not going to fall off. Unlike my flappy aluminum grill. But even that stays put pretty good. So, there you go. That's there. I bought these West Coast Junior mirrors too. Which are way smaller than I thought. They, they look bigger on eBay. But I don't like these because going down the road, they shake the whole time. Might be able to fix that with an angled brace. I gotta make something to cover this, this ugliness here. So if you got any ideas, let me know. I still have to put on the other mirror. But I'm here to tell you, this factory mirror, way better than that West Coast Junior mirror. So that's not an upgrade, it's actually a downgrade, but it looks cool. I don't know, maybe I'll keep checking the junkyard and I'll find proper truck mirrors. You know, much bigger. That might be a, a big improvement. But yeah. I was going to replace everything, fix it the right way. And then I said, you know what? I'm doing it my way. Make it different. Make it unique. And I think it's pretty cool. Alright, thanks for watching.